Hello and welcome everyone to part two of our Vinyl Master 4.3 video. We're going to be building on everything that we learned in the first video. So if you want to learn the basic layout of Vinyl Master, you do want to start with part one. In today's video, we will be learning about the Vinyl Master LTR edition and all of the new features that it has over the cut edition. As you can see, it's a lot of stuff that we've got here on your screen. So I'm going to cover as much as I can in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with showing you all of the new importing and exporting file types that you can do with LTR. If you do most of your work in other programs, this is going to be extremely helpful. I do some of my work in Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. So being able to import file types like AI, .eps, and .pdf, and .svg files with ease, along with normal image types, make this really handy for me if I'm gonna be doing a lot of design work in other programs, or if people are gonna be sending me design work to cut or print and cut. You can also export all of your designs in .ai, .eps, .png, .pdf, .svg, and .dxf file types with LTR. I did just mention a lot of different file types, but LTR actually comes with a lot more different fonts for free. With LTR, you get over 5,200 different fonts and other crazy amounts of bonus stuff like clip art and logos for no additional charge. And you get those from the same place that you get your download from when you type in your PSN. I've also put a link to that down in the video description below. They've also added a lot more stuff into the help section, the manual, and other FAQ databases to the LTR version to go along with all of the other features I just mentioned. Now, let's take a look at the new layout that Vinyl Master LTR has. When you log in LTR for the first time, you want to open up the expert mode menu. This will have all of the tools out and ready to go in the static toolbar. Before we go any further, I do want to point out that the FX part in the static toolbar is grayed out and it will stay grayed out until you upgrade to a higher version like Pro and DSR. Other than that, you have free reign on everything else. Starting from the top, we have this little glove or hand that is your grab tool. This will allow you to grab the screen and move it around with the mouse. Right below that is what everyone is really looking for, and that is the arc text and the text to path features. Let's start by showing you the arc text first. In the LTR edition, you only have the basic arc text features. This only allows you to put the text across the arch around the top like so, and you can click the node to move the text around the arc as well as adjust the distance between the letters, but that's about it. When it comes to adjusting the text on the arcs, you also have additional options in the text tool slide window located on the right side of the screen, and also some more options in the dynamic toolbar, and then again some additional options located in the drop down menu above. The next text effect that has been added is the text to path tool. With this tool, you can combine text onto any vector image. Select your text that you've already typed out along with your image that you want to place the text over and then click the text to path button and it will combine the two. You can then click these nodes to move it around the object until you are happy. It works with all of your shapes or whatever crazy stuff that you draw as long as it's vectorized. You also have a lot of new effects for your distortion or drop shadows, which have also had a lot more presets added to them and you can use it to really give your designs a nice look to them. The next new addition is the little paint can, which allows you to adjust the fill style of the object with other things outside of the colors found in the sidebar. Create your own custom colors, or Vinyl Master has a few designs already loaded in for you to play with, or you can just add in your own custom images as well too. 
This is gonna be more for printing and cutting, so if you have a vinyl cutter that can use a contour cut feature, you can create some pretty cool looking designs with small and large printers. Every single edition of Vinyl Master offered at US Cutter supports manual and automatic arms contour cutting, and I've made a video for each one of the vinyl cutters that we offer here at US Cutter, showing you how to calibrate the machine and perform a contour cut, and I've linked each of those in the video description down below. Next up, we have the new tools and the weld selection. Punch out and stamp have now been added to the LTR lineup to make it easier to create cool designs in Final Master. The way that it works is by having two objects that have been vectorized or created in Final Master. You can then move them over the top of each other like so and do this. Let me show you an example of punch out real quick. I'm going to take a text and then I'm going to put it in front of this rectangular object here. I'm going to select both of them and then go and select the punch out button and you can see that it punches out the text from the rectangle that was behind it. Now, if we do the reverse, then we have stamp. I'm going to put the text behind the rectangle, select them both, and then press it and you can see that it knocks it out. Now, up to the static toolbar, we have the new duplicate button that's been added. And then we also have some selection options that make it easier than ever to click the things you need. But what is the coolest thing? That is the new plugins button. We have the familiar outline tools, but it now has the engraving module and the image cut plugin. Let me go ahead and start by showing you the engraving module. The module can be found in the static toolbar above in the plugins box. To use it, you just need to select any object that you have created or vectorized in Vinyl Master head right up to the plugins bar and then select the module. We'll go ahead and start with this fancy US Cutter logo that I have right here. We want to select the logo and then go up to the plugin menu and select engraving module. Inside the engraving module, you have all of your optional commands starting in the top right. The top one is your tool path, meaning the path your tool will take. Do you want it to go in the shape of an S? Do you just want straight lines across? or maybe do the island feature where it starts in the center and then goes outward. You can tell it that in the tool path option. Below that is the travel option. Do you want your lines going left to right or up to down or maybe a little diagonal? You can choose that there. Then below that is the cut perimeter box that will cut out the perimeter of whatever you are cutting. Then you have the cleanup flange which will actually put another perimeter around there. Then you have some additional tools like uh, where you can adjust the tool diameter and the flanger offset. That way you can get some really small fine lines. You'll just have to adjust those and find the setting that matches your style. Once you've settled on a setting that you're happy with, you want to click accept and it will create the engraving path as a separate object over the original one. Now, before I send the job to the cutter, I need to do a few things. The first thing I need to do is load the prism cut with the etching tool inside of it. I recommend that you load your material into the prism cut first and then put the etching tool inside of it to prevent any unnecessary scratching of your substrate. When I did my initial test, I learned this the hard way. When you load the etching tool, I like to stick two to three sheets of construction paper uh, for the etching tool to sit and rest on to keep a proper distance above my substrate and prevent it from scratching. Make sure you do a test cut to make sure that your speed and pressure are okay. My speed for this demonstration started at 389 with a force of 539, but I later moved the speed up to 611 midway through the job and I was performing this test on the back of our Duralex sublimation panels. Once I am happy with the test cut, I will be moving the blade holder to its starting position. Back at the computer, I'm going to be going to the send to be cut window and look at the general options section and check the assigned tools by the color box. Below that, you will now see the cutting tool preset section. Because I didn't have the blue etch design selected when I opened up the send to be cut window, I have the blue etch and the original black US cutter logo here. 
I don't want to include or cut the original logo, so I'm just going to highlight it and then remove the check mark box from inside the include color box. Next, I want to go to the blue that is the design that we made with the engraving module and make sure that the etch score tool is set using the cutting preset. Once we've done this, we can just click the cut button now and it will now proceed to the cutting screen once the spooler pops up. Now take this time to enjoy this beautiful etching footage that I prepared for you. image cut so this kind of like does the 80s like line art thing I think it's pretty cool can decrease the gap size increase it but you see what it does it just kind of like cuts them it makes like big holes I will cut this and make a demonstration of this for you As you all know, I'm not the most patient weeder in the world, and I probably should have cut this in half, but, you know, I'm not going to do it again, so here we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. For having a few lines missing, you can still really see what it is. I'm really impressed with how this came out. If you have any questions about Vinyl Master or any of the products that we offer it on our website, feel free to contact the sales agent at sales at uscutter.com. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care now.